So I realize YouTube is a little sensitive here, and my interest is not salacious, as it were, but I don't think we can avoid certain images or words dealing with the erotic. But let me get to Ashton first, and then we'll deal with some bizarre little details in the Masterson case. So the question is, what is Thorn? Well, allegedly, Thorn is a charity devoted to helping people who are victims of trafficking. And Ashton did have some self-interest. Apparently, he was trying to sell some technology to the government, and he would benefit from it. So this resignation doesn't mean much. As far as you know, he's still connected to Thorn. He still has presumably some ownership of Thorn, so he'll be making money from Thorn. Now, it is legitimate if you have a charity to pay yourself, right? Because you have to have some expenses in operating a charity. But it does seem to me that basically he was giving himself an extra paycheck, and at this point, he's out of a paycheck, but that's about it. Ashton is a rich man, don't cry for him. As to why this is happening, it's unclear. He created the charity with Demi Moore, so it could be people in the charity are not comfortable with him and his pro Danny Masterson stance, and so he's just embarrassing Thorne, so therefore they had to get rid of him. On the other hand, I would assume that he actually has quite a lot of influence in Thorne, and it was a mutual decision that he step away. I think all of this, frankly, is pre-planned. He planned out the letters. He knew it would get a backlash. This is all very inevitable. And it doesn't mean very much. It's not really a punishment. It's just that he lost a position. But for the record, apparently, he will not be part of Thorn formally in a very public way. He'll be taking a low profile. Does this really mean he's being punished or suffer a lot? I doubt it. But for the record, at least, he's stepping away from Thorn. And whether even Thorn is a charity or did anything good, I'm going to do more research. I have my doubts, but what it is in public is a charity allegedly helping the victims of trafficking. And this brings us to the Masterson contradiction here, because apparently Danny Masterson is guilty of doing similar things here in terms of trafficking as well as hurting people. So how Ashton was not aware of this, it's unclear. I'm guessing he was aware, but is pretending he's not aware. But in the Masterson case proper, a lot of people are questioning, well, is there enough evidence to even punish him? And I grant, like, direct evidence here is weak. But we do keep getting more and more additional details, which I think does suggest that there were red flags with him. And again, I'm not into this stuff, but I'm not going to shame people. But it is a fact that some people really like kinky sex. I'm much more plain about it. I like sex for the pleasure, but that's me. What does this have to do with Daniel Masterson? Well, aside from his own personal preferences, apparently this is part of his public identity. People talk about Danny being an actor, and that's true, but he was also a musician and DJ, and for a long time he had the name of DJ Donkey Punch. At first I thought it was Donkey Kong. No, it's Donkey Punch. And you might think, what does that have to do with anything? Well, apparently when having sex, Donkey Punch is a way to well, hurt your partner to increase sexual pleasure. And this is not speculation. Apparently he talked about this publicly, and I heard about this for a while, but it was hard to get confirmation. So here is a snippet of an interview where he talks about why he called himself Donkey Punch and what it means. Excited now? Like I am? I, I'll be silk. You'll be twist. <laughs> Please! <laughs> We could do... Fighting backstage. Kitty hey. porn. I don't know. Something. I love that they never... Uh, I mentioned the donkey, donkey punch. Oh, yeah. How does um, that become your DJ, DJ name? Just because you can't believe people are going to have to say it? Yeah. Just because it was like, oh, I wonder if we can get this in the New York Times. And we did. Again, is this final evidence? No. It's just circumstantial. However, it is pretty telling he stopped using the name. Apparently, it was well known as slang that, yeah, it's a very controversial sexual position. And he went by that name for a while, but stopped using it. Of course, this just keeps adding to the Ashton dilemma that he keeps denying that he was, quote, directly aware of what Danny did. And he's not technically a part of the crimes in any direct way. But again, it's hard to believe he didn't really know what was going on and either chose not to know or is covering up for him and is just trying to do the best he can to frame himself as a victim, which he is not. So I'm going to do more work on this, but yeah, I'm not familiar with the practice of Donkey Punch, so I'm going to learn a lot more about this to see how bad it is. If you're into it and it is consensual, well, more power to you, but it appears to be a very controversial practice to say the least.